Have you ever wondered if it's possible to ship perfume or any other type of liquid through the mail? Maybe when you went to the post office, you saw that intimidating poster telling you that you weren't allowed to ship these. Or maybe when you got to the counter, you freaked out when the post office person asked you if you had a liquid that you were mailing. Well, the good news is you can mail these and people do it every day. And today I'm gonna to teach you how you too can mail perfumes and other liquid through the mail. Now the first thing that you gotta know when you're shipping through the post office and you're wanting to ship perfumes is that you cannot ship them via airmail, meaning you can't ship them priority or using first class airmail. They have to go ground or parcel select. So when I'm shipping this perfume, I wanna make sure that I'm following those guidelines when I'm purchasing my postage. When I'm ready to package my perfume, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some paper towel or newspaper and I'm going to make sure that the lid is sealed nice and tight to where it won't leak. And then I'm gonna roll it up inside of the paper. By doing this, if my perfume were to leak during shipment, it's, the paper will absorb anything that leaks. So I'm gonna go ahead and package it up nice and tight. And then I'm gonna take a little tape and I'm going to wrap it around the paper. After I've secured the perfume with paper towels, I'm gonna go ahead next and I'm gonna take the perfume and place it inside of a Ziploc bag or some type of plastic bagging. Then I'm gonna make sure that I've sealed it tight and I'm gonna get all of the air out of the bag. So I'm gonna get the air out and then seal it again. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit more tape and I'm gonna make sure that the plastic bagging is secured as well. So now I've wrapped my perfume in paper towel and I've wrapped it with a plastic bag. At this point, I'm ready to go ahead and package my perfume inside the box. When shipping perfume, it's important to make sure that you're using a good reinforced cardboard box. That way, if it were to get jostled or shaken during shipment, it won't break. The glass won't shatter and it'll be nice and protected. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to use a little bit larger of a box because in a minute I'm going to write something on the outside of it and I want to make sure that you can see. If I were actually shipping this perfume, I'd probably pick a little bit smaller of a box. That way it isn't likely to get damaged during shipment. After I have my box ready, I'm going to make sure that I have my perfume nice and packaged carefully. So I'm going to take some bubble wrap, I'm going to put it inside the bubble wrap. And then I might go ahead and take a little bit more bubble wrap to make sure it's extra secure. You don't have to skimp on bubble wrap. The more bubble wrap, the better. I'm gonna roll the bubble wrap up and once again, make sure it's nice and secure. From this point, I can go ahead and take either packaging peanuts, I can take packing paper, or even maybe some styrofoam paper and make sure that I've really protected the perfume bottle. Once again, making sure that this perfume is not gonna break. After I've got it securely packaged, I'm gonna go ahead and close the box up and tape it up just like you would any ordinary package. All right, now that I've got my box packed, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I've added enough tape to where it won't open and I've got it nice and secure, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more tape. And after I go ahead and package my box, then I'll go ahead and apply my shipping label. I've printed a blank label, but if you were to go ahead and ship your label, you're gonna go ahead and fix it wherever it is in clear view. Now that we have it all packaged, we're ready for the most important part of the shipment. Here is where we're gonna mark this package for the post office, letting them know that there is perfume inside and that we've taken the right steps to make sure that we are being proactive and packaging it safely. So the first thing I wanna do is on my package, I wanna go ahead at the top and I wanna write consumer commodity. After I write consumer commodity on, I'm gonna go ahead and write the letters O-R-M-D. After I've written that acronym on my box, I'm gonna go ahead and label how I am shipping it, which is gonna be surface mail, ground, or parcel select. After I've written service mail on the package, I'm gonna go ahead and label what I have inside the box, which is gonna be a liquid. And there you have it. I've gone ahead and I've labeled my box appropriately and everything is now ready for this package to be shipped.
A couple important reminders when you're shipping perfume is this has to go ground. Remember, we're labeling it surface mail. It cannot go air mail because the pressure in the airplane could cause this perfume to leak. In addition to that, the post office does not allow it to be mailed air mail, and you could incur hefty fines if they catch you mailing it via air mail. Also, remember when you're shipping perfumes or any liquid, you have to keep it under one gallon. So you can ship perfumes together if you have more than one, but the total weight of those or the total volume of them cannot exceed one gallon in liquid volume. If you have any questions about how to ship perfumes or any other hazardous materials, feel free to drop a comment down below and I promise I'll get back to you with any questions you may have. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel where I teach many people how to buy and sell things on eBay. Until next time, happy selling on eBay.